Alright, what is going on YouTube? This is Otis here, and today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming, well, I don't know how soon it's going to be, they said probably in the next patch or two, the, uh, the gun updates, or not really the gun updates, but the, uh, the attachments and the accessories that you use for your guns, and, um, the big one is that they're going to change, is going to be the foregrip, and I, I don't know why they're changing it and the way they're changing it, uh, they're pretty much saying most of the changes are, are happening because they're not being used enough or they're being overused. I know the foregrip, like almost every single person in the game uses it. But I mean, there's not really anything other, anything else to really good to replace it with. So, you know, I guess that's why they're changing it. But for the foregrip, what they're doing is they're nerfing it. And they're reducing the vertical recoil by, they're saying, 34%. Uh, when you're aiming down sights, but they're also giving a 20% negative 20% base accuracy to the uh, to your uh, rifle when you're aiming down the sights, which I don't, doesn't make sense at all. Because I mean, a foregrip like in real life just helps you so so much more than when you're grabbing it when you're grabbing like the assault rifles. Typically, you'll have them on assault rifles and it's just a lot easier to grab a foregrip than uh, than the actual like. Underneath, like the rifle barrel, typically is where you grab it, or near near like the the magazine. And but whatever. But they're also saying it's going to be used. You're going to get a boost for it if you're uh, on your close quarter situations, and you're not aiming down your sights. So pretty much, you can just you know hip fire, as is what everyone calls it, and your uh, accuracy will, will be better. They don't say exactly how much. Uh, it's gonna improve it, but they say it's gonna improve it by it's be much more beneficial as they officially put it to use the uh, foregrip and a hip fire and then aiming down the sights, which uh, I I guess kind of makes sense, but you know what whatever I mean they they're gonna do what they're gonna do. And the bipod I'm I'm kind of mixed about this one too, pretty much all of them. And the bipod what they're planning on doing with that is. People who set up the bipod now, it's going to reduce uh, the horizontal and vertical recoil once it's deployed. And then as well as, they say, bullet uh, dispersion, which pretty much means it's going to all go in one spot, not all over the, all over the place is when it comes down to um, uh, technically, I would say. Which, I mean, that's good. I, I can see this definitely being way overused on... Uh, definitely rush modes. I mean, I could kind of maybe see it on Conquest, but it'd be a little bit more, I would say, different on Conquest, because you're going to have everyone just uh, bunched up together. It'd be a lot easier to just to throw a grenade and, and take someone out who's just going on a bipod, but if you're, for example, on this map, and you set that bipod up down the middle of the hallway, I mean, you could do some serious damage for a long time before someone ends up uh, actually probably taking you out. So I mean that's gonna it's gonna encourage camping a lot more using the uh, the bipod, and then the next thing they're gonna do is the suppressor, which they're slightly nerfing it, which it doesn't really bother me. I mean I I've never used the suppressor in this game. I maybe have for a few kills, but I just personally just don't like suppressors just in general for uh, for any video games. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna end up. Uh, the well, the suppressor's main function is to provide stealth, and that's basically so you don't show up on the mini map when you're firing, which is good, which is understandable. And then, what it's also going to do is it's going to uh, do a 25% accuracy bonus when you're aiming down the sights, and a 10% reduction in vertical recoil due to its weight. And typically, I've, I've never personally fired a suppressor, but I always hear you know you're aiming. Your aim for the gun's a lot better, but you know your bullets are, are aren't as strong, typically. But uh, they say what the drawback is going to be with the suppressor is, is they're going to be reduced in minimum and at maximum range for the for the gun that you're using the suppressor on. And they're not saying damage, but they're also saying a negative fifty percent penalty to base accuracy when firing from the hip. So I guess it's going to be a lot harder to kill people when you're just firing from the hip with the suppressor, which I don't know, it's it's not going to affect me at least. I don't know how it's going to affect most people, because most people use a suppressor, it seems like. So uh, that, that'll be uh, pretty interesting to see. And the next one here is the uh, the heavy barrel, which they're greatly buffing that, because I guess they want people to use that more 
and whatnot, but I don't know. I've I've never really understood what's it for and what's it used for. I know it's kind of like a. I don't know if it's like a. I know it's not the f flash suppressor, but uh, I mean, w whatever. I mean, they're saying the heavy barrel will allow players to increase their maximum range, not damage, as well as benefit from a 50% bonus to base accuracy when aiming down the sights. So, I mean, I could I see where that is. I mean, because that, I believe, is the same spot where you can use the foregrip, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe he's the foregrip and the suppressor. I'm not sure exactly. Because typically for me, my, my setup is just pretty much a the RDS sights and a foregrip and that that's all I use ever but uh, that that seems like it'll be pretty good for I would say snipers or people with the assault rifles that are typically aiming down the uh, the sights more <laughs> and I like that little guy's little ballerina twirl after I killed them there that was a uh, <laughs> that was pretty funny <laughs> and um, it's oh, and on this map too I'm just gonna cut away from a little second just talk about this map and it's just Always one side it seems like it's spawn camps, but I mean, if you're not able on this map to to fight your way out, I mean, that's that's your problem. I mean, I, I have no problem with people spawn camping on here. And that was my fault right here. I should have killed both of them, but... Oh, well, whatever. It, it happens. I know they spawned on each other, and of course they're going to come from where they're spawning from. Alright, I'm going to move on now. And uh, this, the flash suppressor is next, which it's greatly buffed buffed <laughs> and uh my <sighs> personally i'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna like this at all because it's pretty much gonna give people a reason to snipe more and i already just am annoyed and pissed off all the time with snipers because most of them like 90 percent of the game just sit back and will go five and two five and three the whole entire game maybe get like one or two kills sometimes and they just are doing absolutely nothing for your team, and it's pretty much you're you're a man down if you have a sniper on your team, like a a true legitimate like sniper. But and so uh, what the flash suppressor is going to end up doing is it's going to give players uh, benefits of the suppressor, but without as many penalties. And it's only going to provide players with a reduction in visual vis vis visual muscle signature, as well as a twenty twenty percent reduction in vertical recoil. And the penalty that's gonna ha that they're gonna have on the flash suppressor is gonna be a twenty negative twenty percent decrease in base accuracy when firing from the hip. So it's pretty much gonna be like the suppressor where you're not gonna want to fire from the hip from. But that's all right. I don't think most people really fire from the hip unless it's just like in a panic situation. So I, I don't think that's gonna affect really people with the flash suppressor at least because most people who are gonna use that are gonna be snipers, is what it seems like and. It's, that, that, that'll be interesting to see. I'm sure most of them already use it. I, mean, I don't even know what their loadouts are because you get killed by one randomly every few games. I mean, some some people are running around with the snipers. I mean, they've, I do it every so often just to level up the gun, just to change things up. I'll, I'll grab one of the uh, semi-auto snipers and run around with that. And that's uh, that's fun to use. It definitely works and helps your uh, aiming. I know right here I always do this. Typically I die. But I, I just get so tired of freaking mortar assholes just sitting in their spawn. And then I'll run and almost pretty much suicide myself just to kill them. And it's just being little douchebags from them. And then the last thing, which they're not changing at all, is the target pointer, which is the, uh, the little uh, laser thing, which is what it does right now, is it greatly benefits those firing from the hit by, by providing a 33% increase to base accuracy. And then on top of this, you know, it also blinds your ass retardedly, just like the tactical light. But, you know, whatever. And they're saying it's going to be, you're going to be able to, s the only real change on it is you're going to be able to spot uh, the users a lot uh, easier this time with it than uh, last time. I guess is what they're saying, at least from a distance. And I know you can, actually I don't know if you can turn the, the target pointer off. I, I don't use the target pointer or the flashlight. I think they're just... You're just a faggot if you use those, like, both of those, especially the both of those in a combo. But, uh, yeah, I mean, whatever. I know you can turn the flashlight off, and that, that helps, too, if you spawn with it. Because I've, I've slightly used the flashlight before, or once they figured out you could turn it off, but, uh, that's alright. I mean, I, I don't know how you guys are going to like the, uh, the changes with it. I'll probably link, I'll leave a link in the description, too, saying, you know, where, 
where they, where it was at and coming from. But um, it was it was a decent gameplay here. It was a uh, nineteen and six with the Famas, and a lot of people are saying that Famas is overpowered, but. I personally don't think it's overpowered. I mean, you have to get pretty much 50 kills with it before you even get like a good like scope. But uh, if you guys like this video, um, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment with how you guys like uh, gonna like the changes or not like the changes. And uh, if you're new to this channel, uh, please subscribe. All right, thanks for watching.